Hello, people. There's Ruby and welcome to Mr. Who Reviews. And they have you in Doctor Who Terror of the Zygons. Not being confused with Terror of the Autumn or the as George George had Terror in the man. I forgot. Anyway, this is a uh, set after the last uh Cyberman story. And the Doctor and Friends are in Scotland. The, Scot uh, the Doctor even has a, a Scottish hat on with a poop ball and a different scarf. And they meet the big bear who's wearing a kilt. Yeah, him, this, him Sarah, and the Doctor are soft saying that. And it turns out the, the big bear is Scottish. Or at least has some Scottish uh, ancestry. And the reason uh, the big director called the doctor, some oil rigs are being destroyed. Yeah, the doctor is a bit annoyed as well. Because he did say the big to use uh, the thing he came to contact him in time and space for emergencies. But since uh, people are being killed in those oil rigs, uh, the big director count this as an emergency. And uh, let's see, uh, uh this is uh, Duke, I bet the uh, his name is a bit, uh, angry about the bringer and that, being here, I know he trusts, uh, politicians. Um, when another already gets destroyed, uh, Sarah just says that questioning some of the town people and uh, the landlord who thinks uh, the, the uh, things are being destroyed by spirits since uh, some stuff was destroyed back in the 1902 and 1800s. But yeah, that was that. And uh, Harry Betsy found somebody on, on uh, this uh, field. Then got shot in the head. And I didn't kill him. I guess some bullet didn't go straight in. And of course, the aliens in this are the Zygons. Uh, I have to say, it's a good design. It looks like a cross between a, a lobster and an octopus, but that's my opinion. And I think it has to be the second or maybe heard uh, alien characters that have the whispery voice in Doctor Who. I think I think the first was a uh, the uh, creature in the war machine and then uh, the ice warriors. Maybe there's some others that I'm forgetting but I was on my head I was only like can't remember. Anyway Doctor goes back to the Brigadier and that's to study uh, the little uh, parts of the oil rigs that were uh, left and he was thinking was they were eaten by some degree like, uh, steel like paper and Sir Zane said hard to keep on Harry and when he wakes up or just comes to uh, Sarah's eyes Called Doctor. Uh, was he still talking to him as uh, I like, um, attacks her and uh, captures Harry? And Harry actually meets the Zygon Commander uh, Proton or something like that, yeah. I keep hearing different names. Hearing Proton, Roton, I don't know. Um, Doctor Vincey finds Sarah in this uh, room, air, air compression room. And um, she actually hypnotizes Sarah Baker tanks don't need to breathe. Yeah, this is the first and only time the Fort Doctor ever showed. Yeah, like a hypnotist abilities like the, like the master does. 
I think they took, took it out that way because I think it was uh, good for the character or something. But I know under six doctors able to hypnotize people with uh, a string thing, I forgot what it's called. I don't know. Oh, let's see, let's see. Uh, uh, Benton's able to find the friend Sarah in the air compression room. Um, it's like, honestly, so hairy that they're able to um, take a form of a human uh, thanks to their device and throw it to being on Earth for millennia. Oh, oh I had a scene uh, when the Zaga Harry goes to Sarah to get this uh, transmission device and then runs away. It does good. You can tell, you can tell something's off about him, but you don't know what. And that's apparent when uh, he tries to uh, stab him Sarah with uh, uh, a pitchfork. It's just good. And so I'm gonna die after falling off. Uh, the the high pay for is like uh, a hay or something. Yeah, but then they can't be killed by nukes, but they can just die from a, from a high height. I don't know. Anyway, yes, yeah, sir. Try again. Some members of the unit to come to her to see uh, the Zygon, but they're able to uh, teleport form back to the ship or something? Yeah, I don't know. And later on the doctor finds out that uh, the transceiver device is both uh, organic and uh, mechanic. And since the doctor came in her way, the Zygon decided to let loose their beast. The Loch Ness Monster. Yes! And the bigger finds out that the transmission that uh, they're sending it's going from Loch Ness. Why not? <sighs> I don't know if the Loch Ness monster is a per, uh, mechanical. So it's a cyborg. Ah, <sighs> 70s. What can I say? And the uh, protolactic tank doctor is dead as a transmission device is dead or something. Yeah, this is the first time I made that mistake. Anyway, uh, then uh, Dr. Sarah and Brigadier go to uh, the Duke's uh, castle and I try to explain to him that, that there's uh, some of the Loch Ness and the Brigadier wants to drop uh, bombs in it. I'm sorry to explain anybody that really believed him. But that's uh, Sarah stay to do some research. Um, uh, see that why he had to do all dirty work. Yeah, they missed his hair alone about two or three times at this point. I don't know why. Anyway, eventually she finds a secret passage to uh, the Zygon ship when she moves a book. That's all that secret passage is by you moving a book on a book bookshelf, one of the something con books. Let's uh, find some of the people. That uh, the Zygon had been impersonating, including Harry. And when she asks, is it really him? He doesn't really know what she means. Yeah, I guess he didn't know that the Zygons were taking his form at one point, but they did show th to him that they can't do that, so I don't know why he asks, but whatever. Anyway, it's at this point that Dr. Brigadier uh, find out that uh, the Duke is probably a Zygon since they were looking for a, 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 a microphone since they suspected that uh, there's two reasons why uh, Zygon might be knowing uh, what they're doing. One, there's a mole in the group. Or two, they're being bugged. And I think they're right with the second part since uh, the landlord's able to find uh, a camera in uh, one of the stuffed 
animal heads that the Duke gave him. And the known nurse said killed him. And being hunted by uh, some of the uh, soldiering unit led by Sergeant Benton. And that's the that he kills one of my hit him with a rock. I think he thinks he killed one of my curry cow. And we, uh, Dr. Brigadier actually find that Harry and Sarah when they come out of the sacred pastures and Dr. actually goes and we captured by the Zygons. And then he fly off on their ship and the unit Harry tracked them and they have to go back to London for some reason. Um, that they're just getting the messy to go somewhere. And what else did Dr. Captain just start talking? But he's also not being impressed with the fact that he can uh, take human form. But he does nearly kill himself when he uh, tries to take a signal to uh, so where the spaceship is going by putting his hands on the thing that's cloaking the sig signal or something. I can't remember. Yeah, I can barely remember some screen. And I yeah, when the Proton finds the Doctor, he thinks he's dead, but he is with the Doctor, a friend, real Duke and Nurse and some other people. And he puts in the, the uh, destruct button on the ship. Why does, why does the, the ship have a destruct button? It makes no sense. Like yes, they probably want to get rid of the ship in case uh, some some of the humans or some other enemy gets it. But come on, it's just after trouble. Anyway, Doctor New York just escape, but they realize that the Zygons are probably going to this uh, energy uh, conference that the Prime Minister and some other uh, uh, VIP government people are going. Uh, they don't get in since the Duke has a uh, past since he's part of the energy company club or something. Mm -hmm. Um, does he kill a uh, kind of proton? But the single device that the uh, tracking the Nessie is still going on, so I don't have to find it for that. He uh, destroys the place and he has to bring the air evacuate. Everybody. And as he gets uh, Nessie to eat the transceiver by throwing at her, and she's about to lock Ness. And uh, the doctor, he walks to the terrorists and does ask him, they want to come. Of course, Brigadier says no, and Harry says, says no as well, since I think he has no fair. Uh, Adventure for one day. And uh, Sarah does come along, just so have Dr. Problems that they go to uh, London. And of course, uh, the Duke is just uh, has the same reaction that everybody does when, he's, when they see uh, the TARDIS disappear. And that's a bit of a joke when they bring or you have to bring there if they have a returner, return tickets. And said he's, he, they, he sort of said, Send him back to our refund, and that's until he thought he was a Scotsman or something. It was kind of funny. Well, I don't know. Anyway, uh, that's the end episode. And it's hard to believe that the Zygons got so popular just being in this episode and haven't been in another episode until uh, the Marvel series with the 50th anniversary and the two parter in season 9. And yes, this is. Uh, the last time that Harry had uh, traveled with the Doctor, but this isn't the last episode of Doctor Who that's going to be in. Uh, probably get that someday, but I don't know when. Um, but uh, having uh, the Doctor Who gang in Scotland was very good, and the part went with the Zygon, Zygon Harry just very well to see the creep in it, and it's after it's just a uh, great they're uh, doing that. And like always, the chemistry between uh, 
Tom Baker and Lucas Slayton was that just that fantastic. And I kinda like uh, that the uh, Lucas Slayton found a Scottish accent when he entered found a thing a uh, Scotch Inn or something like that. It's kinda good. Um, the music was good as always and uh, Commander Proton was a big, uh, uh, a little, little cocky or foolish when he does say thinks the Doctor is dead two times. And this just makes the uh, uh, alien race that wanted to take on world after be stranded in it for a long time. And I don't know why they chose them to be in the 50th anniversary. Like, I guess they were popular, but I didn't think that that's had a reason of uh, being in it. But, uh, I don't know. Um, also, else, um, I mean, also always Tom Baker's great and roll, rather than goofy or this somehow having so, uh, psychic abilities or microphone abilities or whatever they're the same thing. Um, yeah, this has to be uh, one of the best Step uh, fourth Doctor episodes and um, yeah, that's pretty good. And uh, until next time, I'm going to see you guys. Later.